What's that you're humming, Mother? Oh, I don't know. Just something I made up. I think. Well, I like it. It's pretty. <laughs> humming seems to make any task easier. And quicker, too. What happens next in the story, Lorena? Let's see. And then the white rabbit scurried by as quickly as he could, obviously in the great hurry. But where's the picture of the rabbit? <laughs> I don't see a picture. I don't see any pictures. But what's the use of a book without pictures? Aren't these flowers just lovely? They're just now opening up their blooms. Oh, just like they're saying hello. Flowers don't talk. That's impossible. Well, sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things. All before breakfast. Oh! What is it? Oh, it's just a caterpillar. That's the oddest looking caterpillar that I've ever seen. Now remember, I'm having a tea party here tonight with all the ladies playing cards and perhaps in the game of croquet. Oh, I love cards and croquet. Can't I be there too, Mother? These get-togethers are just for Al it's, are just for grown-ups, Alice. Why are you in such a hurry to grow up? To be big enough to do whatever I want to do, whenever I want to do it. Lorena, put the book down. You promised me you'd tear up the croquet set. Yes, Mother. Oh, dear me. Look at the time. We're late. Alice, finish setting up the teacups. I have to go check on the cakes and tarts. Without pictures, just silly words. Where is the wonder in that? Just a simple drawing of a rabbit or a cat, a mouse, a queen, or everything in between. Is that too much to dream? Oh, I'm late. Oh, I'm late. I set my alarm. It doesn't go off. I could have told you, no, I need a lot of class, it simply wouldn't matter. Oh dear, dear me, look at the time. <laughs> oh my! There's something's happening to me. I don't really know what it is, but I, oh, I suspect it might be. A figment of my imagination, perhaps an overactive creation of my pets. Hello? Hello, is anybody there? Something's happening to you. Be careful what you wish for, it might come true. We thought it might be a little.
bite. That's what I said. <laughs> well, I am rather hungry and it is almost tea time. Mmm, this tastes like a combination of cherry tart, custard, roast turkey, and hot butter toast. <laughs> oh dear me, I'm feeling a little odd, but maybe it's because I'm so very thirsty. Oh, um, I think they went 
way. But I'm sure you can catch up with them. I always do. Oh, sir, do you perhaps know the way to the Queen's Court? Just look for all the red roses and you'll know you're getting close. I'm coming, eventually. <laughs> but the roses, which direction do I go? Well, some travel north, others travel south, but some go straight up. <laughs> Wait, who are you and where did you come from? The real question is, who are you? Well, I'm Alice, thank you very much. Morning, noon, or night time, people try to get me to scare. But I won't move because I'm feeling the groove, and they call me, oh yeah, the Cheshire Cat. Of a Cheshire cat before. <laughs> I'm the only one. You may think you've seen me on the town of my white science of hat. But you'd be wrong, cause I've been here all along. I'm so fussy. The Cheshire cat.
treated like a grown-up, so I simply jumped down a rabbit hole and ended up here. Oh, <laughs> the old jump down a rabbit hole trick. Eh? Well, uh, you grown up? Because you look grown down to me. <laughs> oh, I'm just so confused. I don't know. See what I mean? You're mad. We're all mad here. <laughs> oh, where did you go? <coughs> oh, there you are. On your way to see the queen, perhaps you should stop by and see the Mad Hatter <gasps> and have tea with the March Hare. He's quite mad too. <laughs> Wait, you think because it isn't March, the hare will be a little less mad this month? <sighs> March, April, May, October. <laughs> it really doesn't make much of a difference. They're always serving out tea and they're always mad, mad, mad. I've often seen a cat without a grin, but a grin without a cat? It's the most curious thing I ever saw in my life.
This is too big of a job for us. We need more help. I gave Pimper to unlock a few days ago, but he still showed up. Oh, that was a good idea. Why are us number cards always getting the worst jobs? The face cards look down on us. They would never be caught painting roses. Let me try and explain to you. When they shuffle the deck, what are the cards you should get? Put your poker face on, pretend you're not moving on. You may end up discarded, but don't be broken hearted when you're painting the roses red. Cut the cards with your bets, and hold them close to your chest. Don't let kings, queens, or jacks make you feel second class. Just pick up. Grown-ups. So, Jack, 
Did I hear you say you might be taking something to the Queen? I think I have her fan and I really would love to return it to her. Well, uh, well, good luck with that. I'm sure the Queen will be terrible. Uh, I mean, terribly grateful to you for returning here, Van. In the meantime, I think I'll be off. Me too. Oh, me too. Goodbye. Uh, me three. Toodles. Me too. Get it? Me too. Ah, well, in that case, have you seen the White Rabbit? He's the one who dropped the fan in the first place. The White Rabbit? Yes. Large, white, furry, screams about the forest like he's always in a hurry? Yes, that's him exactly. Never heard of him. And I see neither hide nor hair of him. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Hair? Another the rabbit? I know. Funny. Numbers! Your job is far from done. Of the 3,422 rose bushes yet to pay thread in this kingdom, and by my calculations, you have completed this far. Three and a half. There is no time to waste. Bring your brushes and follow me. I'm here, ready to paint. Where did everyone go? Oh, I believe they went to the nearest rose garden, sir. It's nice to see you again. And you as well, miss. Cards, wait for me. I'm coming. Full speed ahead. Oh, well, perhaps you can answer my questions. Don't be in such a hurry to get your answers. All the mysteries will be revealed in due time. Oh, this is my lot in life. I'm just a shell of my former self. No one understands me. All my leisurely pays for that matter. I'm coming, eventually. <laughs> oh, but I'm only wondering if the Queen will be terrible or terribly grateful that I have her fan. Oh, don't worry, little girl. That Queenie can be a mean. But as I see it, she's not playing with the full deck. If you get my drift. <laughs> um, who are you? More to the point, who are you? Well, I hardly know, sir, just at present. I knew who I was when I got up this morning, but I think I must have been changed several times since then. Ah, it is a big puzzlement. Maybe you can explain yourself? Well, I can't explain myself because I'm not myself, you see. Don't worry about it. I don't know myself either. Today a caterpillar, tomorrow a butterfly. Who knows? I just try to live in the moment. If you get my drift. <laughs> well, sometimes a moment takes entirely too long. I just want time to hurry up. Then you can't enjoy the taste of the soda. Ah, delicious. You need to be more like me. Sit back and never, ever worry. Except when my cherry falls to the bottom of the cup. It's extremely hard to recover. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I thought you might be bringing me my jar of cherries. But then again, it is a very big jar. With very big cherries, I would suppose. Precisely. Now, who did you say you were? Well, I think you ought to tell me who you are first. I'm a caterpillar and it's such a thriller You see among the daisies and the daffodils On my great big mushroom, me see it rant It's just another reason why we love Wonderland Soda, chocolate, or vanilla. Don't worry, be happy. It's just another reason why we live in Wonderland. Oh, go away, go away. No room, no room. No room. No room? Why, there's plenty of room. Ooh, and plenty of tea by the looks of it. Have some fruit punch. Oh, um, I don't see any. There isn't any. Well, then why did you offer it to me? That wasn't very nice of you. Why did you sit down without being invited? That wasn't very nice of you. Well, um, there were so many places to sit and so many teacups that... <gasps> oh, my. Look at the time. What time is it? It's 
I'm such a car. Life in my kingdom's extremely hard. So don't let down your guard. Bad news, but your fan has been stolen. 
First the tarts and now the fan. Oh, what a day of thievery! Oh, uh, excuse me, your highness. Who are you and what are you doing here? I've never seen you before, little girl. Well, my name is Alice, and I assure you I am not little. I am very grown up. And I'm pleased to let you know I have your fan. What? You stole my fan? No, I did not. Just ask the white rabbit. Where is the white rabbit? Late as always, I'm sure. No matter. Hatter, read the accusation. This is a red letter day indeed. Two accusations, one right after another. Simply splendid. The Queen of Hearts, she had a fan that disappeared with malice. But as it turns, we have learned the fan was stolen by Alice. Oh, but I was simply returning it to Her Majesty to be nice. What are good deeds for? But are you punished? Off of the head, off with her head. Shall I pronounce the sentence? Yes. Sentence first, trial later. Wait, but where I come from, it's trial first, sentence later. Not in my kingdom, Eloise. It's Alice. Whatever. Your Highship, I object to this mockery of justice. Let the young girl have her trial. Well, it might be entertaining. Had to assemble the jury. Jury, assemble at once. And bring the accused into the witness box. Nave, do you really think I forgot about you? Join the accused. You like it? Are they unfortunately delicious? No, thank you, Sir Jack. Let the trial begin. Let the trial begin. Turtle, what say you? Your Highship, <laughs> this little girl does not know of our ways or our customs. Therefore, I beg of your Majesty's leniency on the judgment of the matter. Quite right. Guilty, both of them. Off of the heads. Jory, thank you for your service. You are dismissed. But, Your Highship, I have prepared a lengthy defense. We have no time for a lengthy defense. The show must go on. Well then, I suggest a competition where young Alice may prove herself worthy of a ro royal pardon. Well, it might be entertaining. I sent, Therefore, I sentence Alicia. It's Alice. Whatever, to a game of croquet. If I win, it's off of the head. If the girl wins, Never mind, I always win. Cards, bring the balls, the wickets, the scorecards, and the flamingo. Bring the flamingo. Flamingo. It's you! You are 
times. Late for what? For getting you back to your home, of course. And it requires precise time and hurry. I'm sure your mother and sister have waited for you. Wait, so that's what you've been late for all along? Getting me home? No time for explanations. Come away, let's go. Back up the rabbit hole. No, no, no! Bring her back! Off with her head and off with all of your head! Wish. <laughs> 